Greetings Vision Lake users and welcome to this unified productivity tutorial, Asset Location. The location for a single asset and the events can be viewed by clicking on a single asset from the Productivity tab and then clicking on the Location button. By default, this will display the latest 10 cycles of information for this particular asset on a single day. You can change the date by clicking on Date Range and here you can choose Today, Yesterday, or any date range. To view the information from the last 10 cycles, click on Inspect Cycles to view details of these individual cycles. You will see the cycles that are individually numbered, and by clicking on Events, you can see additional information for each cycle, including the load event, when it occurred and where, as well as the geofences it was located in, the loading unit and the dump event if available. You can also see the stop events that occurred during this cycle time as well as the total duration of the cycle. You can quickly hide this information or you can also refine this information by only showing the particular items for a selected cycle. This will filter the maps so that you can view the information for that particular cycle individually. Clicking Show All brings us back and you can choose to either select other individual cycles or simply choose to show all of them as well. As we zoom into the map, we get further details of the exact location of the load events as well as the dump event locations. You can see our geofences for multiple sites across this project area are listed and displayed. To configure the map, we can also go into our settings. Here, we can hide or show load and return routes and stop movements for both loaded and empty events. Within the sidebar, we can show the cycle duration we can also configure what we show about the events themselves, like cycle start time, load event, stop movement loaded, dump events, stop movement empty, and cycle and time. Within the map info window, we can show or hide the cycle name, duration, and the location reported time. All of these options are fully configurable within the map view on the Location tab for an individual asset. The list of cycles is sortable by the latest cycles or the earliest cycles, the shortest cycles, and the longest cycles. This will give us an idea of our productivity as well as where and when we can make improvements. To view the next 10 cycles in the list, we can simply click the arrow which will show us the page showing the next 10 events for this area. Similar events are always clustered or grouped together and then as we zoom in the map, we see the specific event locations. We can change the date to quickly compare events. As always, the totals for a given date range are displayed across the Actions bar and any configured productivity metrics will also be totaled and displayed here as well. This still relates back to the asset or device capability based on subscriptions. Vision Link Unified Productivity Asset Location Thank you very much.